So, good morning everyone. We all know about the new Indian Removal Act passed by Andrew Jackson and how much trauma and despair it has caused to the affected families. The Indian Removal Act is forcing all Indian tribes to move to the new Indian Territory in Oklahoma. Eileen is going to be interviewing a Cherokee Indian. Hello everyone. Right now I'm talking to Shawi, who's part of the Cherokee tribe. She's willing to talk about her experience on what they call the Trail of Tears. Good morning, Shawi. Would you mind telling us about your experience if you're on the trail? How did you feel having to move? Well, we've been on this land for centuries. It's really sad. And how did you feel when you were forced to move? That must have been very frustrating to leave your tribe. Yeah, we couldn't take anything. Imagine just taking the clothes on your backs. No family pictures or pops or food. They just stuck a bayonet thing in your back. Did any relatives of yours pass away during the trip? Yes, so far my little sister and my grandparents have passed away due to hypothermia and the bad conditions on the trail. I'm sorry for you and your family. Thanks for sharing your thoughts with me today. Back to you, Catherine. Thanks, Eileen. Yes, that was a very sad thing to hear about. Now we're going to be showing you some footage of leaders from the Chickasaw and Choctaw tribe. I'm the leader of the Choctaw tribe. But what does it matter? I can't keep my tribes home? My people think I gave up on them. That I just handed their land away. They do not realize that I did everything I could. But it just wasn't enough. I am, the, I am not the leader of this tribe, but just another prisoner of the government. Words from those wise leaders. I'm going to give you some more information about this Indian Removal Act. President Andrew Jackson passed this act because of the growing number of American settlers looking for land. Because of this, the new Indian Territory was changed to Oklahoma. Affected tribes include the Cherokee, the Choctaw, the Chickasaw, the Seminole, the Creek tribe, and many others. The Cherokee tribe was very frustrated by this because President Jackson had a previous treaty with the Cherokee tribe saying that they could keep their land. Most tribes cooperated reluctantly, but some were very stubborn about leaving their homes, including the Cherokee. Guerrilla tactics had to be used with some tribes who kept trying to escape. We're headed back to Eileen. She's going to be talking with the Seminole leader, Osceola. Hello again, now I'm speaking with Osceola from the Seminole tribe. The Seminole tribe originates in Florida. Osceola is one of the main leaders of this tribe, and they have yet made their journey on the trail yet. Osceola, why hasn't your tribe made its journey on the trail yet? I don't want these Americans thinking they can treat us like chess pieces. I want to make <laughs> it hard for them. I want them to know it is not easy. Sounds like a plan you're brewing up. I've got something up my sleeve. Okay, before we get too much information out of here, let's go back to Catherine. All right, thanks, Eileen. That concludes our segment on the Indian Removal Act. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time on ASK Today. Hi again, Shaw. Do you have any spiritual dance you'd like to share? Of course!